The Greens candidate Amy McMahon, who looks like she's beaten Jackie Trad for the seat of South Brisbane. Amy, first of all, congratulations. Oh, thank you for having me. What, so what's the issue or the issues that resonated for you on the campaign trail? Was it simply that Jackie <coughs> Trad had been through such a controversial time, a former Deputy Premier? Did that help you a lot? Oh, look, I think tonight's result is a reflection of the frustration that Queenslanders have with both the major parties and our political system in general. Uh, we've been out door knocking for the last six months and one of the most common bits of feedback we've gotten is that people are fed up with the Labor and the Liberal Party taking big corporate donations. They're fed up with cash for access meetings. They're fed up with secret royalties deals. And they're fed up with a political establishment that continues to put mining billionaires ahead of everyday <coughs> Queenslanders. And what we've come and offered people in South Brisbane and right across Queensland is a vision for Queensland where everyday people are put first. And we have our hospitals and schools that are fully funded. We have jobs in construction and manufacturing. We have construction of public homes right across the state. Uh, and that's what's gotten the result here in South Brisbane tonight. And that's what's gotten the big swings that we've seen right across the city tonight. Given the big swings to the, the Greens in the, in the South East and uh, in your seat, do you think, well, I mean, do you concede there's a disconnect between the South East and Central and North Queensland where there is still strong support for coal and that industry? things we know is that the majority of Queenslanders want big corporations to pay their fair share. And we know that the majority of Queenslanders think that big companies have too much power. Now what we've seen from both Labor and the LNP, who've been taking big donations from fossil fuel corporations, is a complete lack of imagination about how we're going to be creating jobs out in rural Queensland. We've got 20% child poverty in Queensland. We've got massive youth unemployment out in the regions. And obviously what Labor and the LNP are offering to people out in the regions just isn't cutting it. We've got a plan for jobs, building new manufacturing hubs, building solar panels and wind turbines and batteries. We've got a plan for jobs, building houses and crucial public infrastructure right across the state. And once we get the opportunity to go and talk to Queenslanders, we know that these messages are resonating with them. Amy, congratulations. It's Alan Jones here. Could you give a commitment to viewers as to what your position is in relation to the Extinction Rebellion people who completely dislocated business in the city, held up traffic, ambulances couldn't get to hospitals, pregnant women couldn't get to deliver, have the baby delivered, and you seem to be an unapologetic supporter of these people. Will you disavow that support or confirm it? Look, I think we can ha you know, have a reasonable discussion about particular tactics, but what we see when we see dis civil disobedience and protest is a reflection of people who no longer feel that the political establishment is listening to them. People no longer feel that Labor and the LNP are listening to them when they're saying, we need action on so climate what do you do? change, Lie down when in they're the saying, we need action on you... housing. So, so, what, so, Amy, what do you do? As a responsible elected representative of the people, do you encourage these people to lie down in the street at 8.30 in the morning and completely dislocate business in the city? Is that a responsible position for an elected representative of the people to take? Look, as I said, as I said, regardless of what you think about particular tactics, this is a reflection of a political system that no longer listens to everyday Queenslanders. We have both the major parties who are in the pockets of big mining companies who've been holding cash for access meetings, taking big corporate donations, and everyday Queenslanders are no longer being listened to. And what everyday Queenslanders... Amy, 90% Amy, of Queensland... Are fight for them. Uh, Amy, 90% of Queenslanders who voted in this election don't agree with you. What we know is that Queenslanders, and we've seen this in political surveys and in the results that the Greens have gotten right across the state tonight, is that Queenslanders want big corporations to pay their fair share. And what we've seen from this government is a royalties freeze, we've seen cutting the wages for teachers and nurses, we've seen everyday Queenslanders put last, uh, instead mining billionaires have been put first. And the Greens in Parliament, with representatives who don't take any corporate donations, 
are going to be fighting for everyday Queenslanders here in South Brisbane and right across Queensland to make sure we've got jobs, to make sure our health care and education is fully funded, to make sure we have houses right across Queensland, to make sure we've got okay. things like 100% publicly <coughs> owned energy, Good. which would create something like 20,000 jobs. This is such an Terrific. exciting opportunity and the results tonight show that mm. Queenslanders want this as well. well. <coughs> Well, Amy, 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 Mac Amy you, make me hope, you make me hope that Anastasia Palaszczuk wins 60 seats so that she doesn't have to bargain with you over some of that nonsense. I'm sorry, the bulk of the people out there are saying turn her off. But congratulations, the public have decided. Yep, congratulations, Amy McMahon. Thank, Thank you for giving you. us your time. I appreciate it. Now